What's up YouTube? Have you been wondering if Affinity version 2 is worth it? Well that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen, I'm a media design educator and today we are answering the question, is Affinity version 2 worth it? And the answer is, yes. Yes it is. Oh, what's that? Oh, you wanted more of like an analysis, a breakdown? You want me to give you some reasons to spend money? Oh, okay, well, I guess we can do that too. Um, but to be honest, the simple answer is yes. But I'll go ahead and do the analysis and the breakdown for those of you who want it. Okay, so here's the deal. The Affinity V2 Suite contains three apps for three platforms. We're gonna talk about what each of those apps are, which platforms they go on, and how much they're each going to cost. So the three apps are Affinity Designer, that's the first one that ever came out for V1. It seems like it's been a long time now that we've had Affinity Designer, and that is an Adobe Illustrator competitor. It's vector illustration software. So if you're a graphic designer, that's the one for you. I've done a whole other video breaking down which apps are for which people, so you can go ahead and check that out because that hasn't changed in V2. The second one is Affinity Photo. This is an Adobe Photoshop competitor, so it's what we call a raster graphics editor. It's really for working with and manipulating photographs. It is not for doing graphic design, even though some people try to use these kinds of programs for that. And the third one is Affinity Publisher. This is a competitor to Adobe InDesign and it is what we call a desktop publishing app, which is kind of a misnomer now that it's moved to the iPad because not desktop publishing. I guess even with a laptop, it wasn't really, but we call it a desktop publishing app. It's really for layout design, magazines, newspapers, books, flyers, posters, all that kind of stuff that might be printed or shown online. All of that can be done in a program like Affinity Publisher. So those three apps make up the suite, and the suite is kind of the sweet spot because that's where you can get the most done when you have all three working together. Now these three apps are available for three different platforms. They're available for Mac, Windows, or iPad OS. So those are the three places that you can get them in. In V2 for the first time, you can get all three in all three places, which is going to be pretty awesome. This really means that you can get exactly what you need where you need it. So if you only need one app on one platform, you can do that. If you need all apps on all platforms, you can do that too. Now one thing to note here is that Affinity Publisher contains a special feature called Studio Link. And what Studio Link means is that if you own Affinity Publisher and you own Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo on the same platform, you can use Studio Link to access many of the features from Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer inside of Affinity Publisher. It changed the way I work forever. If you haven't worked with Studio Link, you have to try it out because it changes everything. So that's why even if you think you only want one app, you might want to consider getting all three, especially once we talk more about the price. So as far as purchasing goes, you basically have two different options and neither of them are subscriptions. Don't worry, this is not Adobe. There are no subscriptions to be found here. They're all single purchase licenses. There's just two ways you can go about it. You can purchase either one app on one platform. So for example, Affinity Photo for the Windows platform. You can purchase a license like that or you can purchase what they're calling the universal license. This is a license for all three apps on all three platforms, which basically means you have every configuration of the app available to you, even if you switch platforms. So, so let's say you work primarily on Windows and then later you decide you're going to switch to Mac, you'll be set, you'll still have access to the apps there. Whereas if you buy this single app on a single platform, you would need to purchase the app again if you switched platforms. So that's really the benefit of the universal license and it also comes with some cost savings. So let's go ahead and break down how much each of these options costs. Because we're currently in the launch for V2, they're offering all of these programs at a discount. All of the programs are 40% off right now, their list price. So this will go away eventually. You may be watching this in the future. So it's important to note that even if you are watching this in the future after the discount has ended, even the regular price on Affinity Apps is still a killer deal. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we break down these prices. One important thing to note for those of you who've been Affinity users for a while is there is no specific discount for people who had V1. There's no upgrade discount. There's a specific reason for that. Affinity felt that it was going to be too complex for them to offer an upgrade discount because their apps have been bought so many places. They're bought on their website, they're bought on the Mac App Store, the iPad App Store, the Windows App Store, and getting a discount to all of those people just wasn't going to be feasible. So they decided, 
just to offer the discount to everyone. And the discount's better than it's been. I think before when we've gotten discounts for new apps that have come out was like 30%, but this is 40%. So it's a really, really good discount. No one should feel offended about that. It's not that you're getting gypped for having been a user already. It's just that everybody else is also getting benefited. It doesn't take anything away from you. So these discounts are really nice, but they're still a good deal even if you don't get the discounts. Okay, so let's get to the prices. The Universal License retails for $170, all three apps on all three platforms, whatever you need. And that is a really good deal. But with the 40% off discount, it's actually only $100 right now. So $100, all three apps, all three platforms. You can't go wrong with that deal in my mind. That's the one I personally got. But if you're like, I don't need all of the apps, you can still purchase individual licenses. So if you wanna purchase an individual license for Mac or Windows for one of the apps, that's going to cost you $70. Still a good deal. With the discount right now, 40% off, it's only going to cost $41 per app. Of course, if you spend $41 per app, that would cost you a lot more in the long run than buying the Universal app. In fact, if you want all three apps in any form, then it just makes more sense to get the Universal app, which I think you should do because then you get access to Studio Link. Now, the iPad's the last one, and the iPad is kind of the exception here. If you only work on the iPad, it might be smarter to only get the iPad apps if you don't see yourself using Mac or Windows in the future because the iPad apps are only $20 a piece, so you could get the whole suite for $60, on the iPad. And of course, right now with the discount, they're going for just $12 a piece. You can get the whole suite on iPad for $36. Wow, that's crazy. And I wanna just clarify, I don't work for Affinity. I have no affiliation with them. I don't have affiliate links for the programs or anything like that. I just think they're a really good deal. So that's how the breakdown works out. I just wanna emphasize that even if you're watching this in the future and you need to pay full price, these are still a really good deal because if you compare them to their major competitor, which is Adobe, Adobe charges right now $55 a month for access to their suite. Now there's more apps and a lot of features going on in there, but it's still $55 a month. And if you want access to just a single app from Adobe, you have to pay $21 a month. So you can see how that's gonna add up to be way more than the cost of Affinity programs very, very quickly. In fact, if you need the suite of Affinity and you can buy it for $100 right now, that's less than two months worth access to the Adobe suite. Pretty crazy, right? And even if you purchase them later, even if you have to pay the $170 for the suite, that's still like, just less than four months of paying for Adobe Suite. So they're always a good deal for what you get, which is why at the beginning of the video I said, the answer is yes. There's just no other way to look at. They are really cheap for what they're able to do. Okay, so that's your breakdown. Now I wanna hear from you. What have you already gotten or what are you gonna get? What are you gonna use these apps for as you go into the future with Affinity? Or do you saying, no, it's not worth it, hands off. I'm just going to go and stick with Adobe at 55 bucks a month. And as a reminder, for any of you who are new to Affinity, I have lots of courses on the Affinity programs which are linked in the description to this video. Those courses are for version one apps right now, but all of the concepts have remained intact in version two, so you can go ahead and check them out. The only thing version two has is some new features that I haven't yet done courses on, but I will be doing courses on those in the near future. Okay, we'll chat in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.